Paolo was being kept an innocent prisoner in the palace of Herodus by the Romans who preserved him from the murderous Yehudim. Acts chapter 24 And after five days the high priest Hananiah came down with certain elders and with an orator, one Teratullu, and they informed the governor against Paolo. And when he was called, Tertullo began to accuse him, saying, Seeing that by thee we enjoy much peace, and that by thy providence evils are corrected for this nation, we accept it in all ways and in all places, most excellent Felix, with all thankfulness. But that I be not further tedious to thee, I entreat thee to hear us of thy clemency a few words. For we have found this man a pest, and a mover of insurrections among all the Yehudim throughout the inhabited earth, and a ringleader of the sect of the Nathoraye who moreover was trying to profane the temple, on whom also we laid hold. From whom thou wilt be able, by examining him thyself, to take knowledge of all these things whereof we accuse him. And the Yehudim also joined in the charge, affirming that these things were so. And when the governor had beckoned to him to speak, Paulo answered, For as much as I know that thou hast been of many years a judge to this nation, I cheerfully make my defence, seeing that thou canst take knowledge that it is not more than twelve days since I went up to worship at Yerushalem, and neither in the temple did they find me disputing with any man or stirring up a crowd, nor in the synagogues, nor in the city. Neither can they prove to thee the things whereof they now accuse me. But this I confess to thee, that after the way which they call a sect, so serve I the God of our fathers, believing all things which are according to the law, and which are written in the prophets." having hope toward the God, which these also themselves look for, that there shall be a resurrection both of the just and unjust. Herein I also exercise myself to have a conscience void of offence toward the God and men always. Now after some years I came near, effectuating mercy-givings to my nation, and offerings. In which mercy-givings and offerings they found me purified in the temple, with no crowd, nor yet with tumult, but there were certain Yehudim from Asia, who ought to have been here before thee, and to make accusation, if they had aught against me, or else let these men themselves say what wrongdoing they found when I stood before the council, except it be for this one voice that I cried standing among them, Concerning the resurrection of the dead, I am called into question before you this day. But Felix, more exactly having known the things concerning the way, deferred them, saying, When Lucias the thousand ruler shall come down, I will determine your matter. And he gave order to the hundred ruler that he should be kept in charge and should have relief, and not to forbid any of his friends to serve to him. But after certain days, Felix came with Drusilla, his woman, who was a Yehudaita woman, and sent for Paulo, and heard him concerning the faith 
into anointed Yeshua. And as he reasoned of righteousness and self-control and the judgment to come, Felix was terrified and answered, Go thy way for this time. And when I have a convenient season, I will call thee to me. At the same time, also hoping that money would be given him of Paulu, for what reason also sending for him the oftener, he communed with him. But when two years were fulfilled, Felix was succeeded by Porciu Firstu, and desiring to gain favor with the Yehudim, Felix left Paulo in bonds.